In health matters today, exciting news in the fight against breast cancer is emerging from right here in Houston. Baylor College of Medicine is making waves internationally with two groundbreaking advancements that could revolutionize patient care. A lead researcher at Baylor College of Medicine is helping pioneer a concept he calls right sizing surgery. There's a lot going on in the breast cancer world at the present time. One study that we've been very involved in is called COMET, which is identifying a group of women who don't need an operation for the earliest stage, stage naught of breast cancer. The approach only targets women diagnosed with early stage ductal carcinoma in situ, or DCIS. Women should be empowered to make their choices well informed with the medical knowledge that they need. And we're now getting to the point where individual women can choose based on the evidence of what's going on in their breast as to whether she is going to have a surgery or whether she actually doesn't need an operation and can have active monitoring. Dr. Thompson says they'll closely follow the women for at least 10 years, but feel confident they can skip surgery and no chemotherapy or radiation either. Patients are now flocking to Houston to Baylor College of Medicine. It's the first to offer this watch and wait approach. Not everywhere in the world is quite as far forward in their thinking as that, but there is now strong, good, published, internationally recognized evidence that that's a good way to go for some women. For those who do require surgery, a new high-tech device using artificial intelligence is offering hope. Which when we go to the opticians, often the optician will scan the back of our eye, our retina, to check it's healthy. That same technology can be used to scan the outside of the lump that we remove from the breast. So when we do a lumpectomy, conserving the breast, we look at the outside of the lump we've removed and make sure we've got everything we need. The hope is that information from this device called optical coherence tomography means most patients will only need one surgery. Within about 10 minutes, we can scan the whole of the outside of this lump lumpectomy and then have a look at the little thumbnail sketches, the little pictures that guide us if we need to take more or whether we can just leave well alone, we've got everything we need. Until now, pathology reports often reveal leftover cancer cells weeks later, leading to another surgery for one in four women. Clear margins the first time means a better chance of only one surgery and a less likelihood of cancer returning. Incredible to see what they're finding out right here in Houston. If you head to our website, fox26houston.com, a little later, I'll make sure you have all this information on the studies as well as statistics of breast cancer. How many people are expected to be diagnosed this year? Remember that that can involve men as well. You'll find all of that information on our website.